What's up everyone, GTA King here, back here for another GTA 5 video. This is the easiest car to car merge that works very consistently on GTA 5. This is for the people that do not have the Galaxy Super Yacht. Now the version with the Galaxy Super Yacht still does work. I already tested it and it works as easy as a piece of candy, but... I will tell you we're not doing that method here because not everyone has the Galaxy Super Yacht and I think the Galaxy Super Yacht one has been overdone on my channel and also on other people's YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you a very easy car to car merge. Now keep in mind with this if you are doing big vehicles like terabytes, uh, the 6x6 which is the Asset Lab or if you're doing the... Uh, charger bob or tank anything that has weaponized you're putting the mods on to you will have to do the give cars the frame glitch after you do it to save it if you don't you will not save it because the version with the caged in uh with the motorcycle club does not work no more but you will need someone inside a different target mode you will need someone inside your session over at the ls car meet inside a titan of a job you want to be over at the arena so you can start the glitch out but this is a very simple easy glitch so easy very easy so what we want to do is have our car out that we want to pull the mods from on the map which we do <clears throat> you want to go ahead and register as a ceo if you're not in a ceo and you want to go ahead and want to bounce off of someone inside of a different target mode so you want to go to the profile hit join game and you want to accept the first alert to climb the second go up to that box office window spectator box and you want to get the invite to titan once i get the invite i'll get on the alert and i'll let you know what happens next year all right, now that I'm on it, they can back out. Once they're out, I can tell you. Okay. All right, so now that they're out, you just want to double tap your A button two times. If you want a PlayStation, you want to do your X button. So X on, on a PlayStation and A on Xbox. So you just want to listen to those three thumps. And once the third thump fades away, you want to press A Again, or X on PlayStation, and you want to spawn out how we did with no mini map. If you spawn into the arena board, then that means you did spam through the alerts too fast. If y'all did find this glitch so far so easy, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, join my GTA Discord server if you need help with other glitches. Once we get in here, you just want to open up the interactions menu. Request a personal vehicle on them that you have out on the map into the car meet. And you want to have the person inside the car meet start a sprint or you can start it up yourself. And you just want to accept the invite to the sprint and call up your mechanic. And you want to hover over the name of the car that you do want to put the mods onto. And then I will tell you what is next inside the steps of this glitch. Now guys, I'm very active on Twitter and on Instagram. If y'all want to follow me, that would be good to go. So once we in the side of the sprint, we will see that we have our delivery menu still open from our mechanic. But we cannot see the list of cars right now, but we'll see that list here in just a second. So we want to hold Y on Xbox or hold Triangle on PlayStation to respawn one time. And then you just want to press up on your D-pad or down your D-pad, does not matter, one time. Then you want to make sure you're hovering over the name of the car that you want to put the mods onto once you uh, see your list of cars again. 
and you just want to drive over here behind the LS car meet where you have deep enough water to take. So now once you go into the water, you just want to be spamming your A on Xbox or X on PlayStation and you want to get on that black screen. So we're just going to keep doing it until we get on that black screen. Then we want to bounce on and a whack. We're just looking for the solid black screen, guys. It does take a few tries sometimes. Sometimes you can hit first time, but we're trying to get our screen to go gray. And we are looking for that solid black screen, which we got at that time. Now we're going to go to our Anawak. And we're going to accept the first alert to climb the second. And accept the failed job alert. If you sit on the black screen too long, you will fail it. We did spawn in with our vehicle. So now what we want to do is start up a job on the map. And then back out of it to end the sprint race. If we don't have our jobs turned on, then we would just want to have our friend lead the game. And then join back in the sprint race, but we have our jobs turned on, so we can just start one up and back out. But it's a very simple, easy glitch, guys. If y'all did find this glitch very successful, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications. And we do have our car fully modded. It did spawn me on the other side of where my car is at. For some reason, when I backed out of the job. But now I just want to take my car over to the LS Customs. Change something on it to save it. And then we will have successfully modded our car. If you do not change something on the car to save it. Then you will lose the mods that are on it. But I hope y'all find this glitch very successful. And very easy. If y'all did, please go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. And I will catch you inside of the next video. Peace out. And I'm gone.